and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will... Welcome to the HEV Lock 4. Protect yourself from system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Moving around in your HEV suit can be... We will practice in the hazard Good work. Those new suits can be tricky. Please proceed to the next area. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Come on to the next area. Now we will combine skills. to make a duck jump. Nice job. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to come back now, just... The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are now. Great work. Now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping is a feature you won't use very often, since it draws more power than any other suit function. And Nice job. Start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use button. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below, and do your best to hit it. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care you will find at the next station. like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. <laughs> to spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Fantastic. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your... Finally, if nothing else works, you can try breaking the object in the head. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Great. Remember your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. Welcome to the Black Mesa Target Range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. 
Certain targets will break only when hit by the name. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Target range. Please advance to the next area. Your HEV suit monitors blood oxygen levels. Warning you. Come up and catch your breath. You will see the blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads up display returning to its. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment. When you are running low on power, step up to any charge. If you pass through fire or sand, according to radiation, activate the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with the luminous eye. Please advance to the next area. Lead a security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit. Access denied. Sure, I'll follow you. Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward to increase the Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard Course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV Protective System. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from Level 3 dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, 
Passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semi-finals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of medical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruitment division. The Black Mesa Research Facility is an equal opportunity in Florida. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel, regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash. The sample was just in the big day today. Good morning, Gordon. Ah, 
it's good to see you. Greetings! My God, what are you doing? Hello. This is all within theoretical limits. Activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors. Activated. Vital sign monitoring. Activated. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Engaged. Defensive weapon selection. I must remember to report this situation. Ah, Gordon, here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. It's about to go critical. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. Access denied. The most unstable. Now, now, if you follow Access standard and standard procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing? Testing? <coughs> seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Activating now. Gordon. 
recorded, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the treating will take. Please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to one or five percent. Uh, it's probably not a problem, probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy here. Well, no, it's well within the system. Sustaining signals. I've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Gordon, get away from the field! Shut it down! No! Attempt to shut it down! It's not! It's not! It's not shutting down! It's Get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Yes.
I certainly hope you know what you're doing. I predicted all of this, you know. All of it!
something died down here. from the Anomalous Materials Lab, yes.